Hello everyone, myself Pallavi. I am studying in BMS Institute of Technology and Management. In this video, I am explaining about the next date problem based on boundary value analysis. Boundary value analysis this is a concept of black box. Therefore, today the contents which I am going to explain is the black box testing, the basics of boundary value analysis and in boundary value analysis, I am taking a problem of next date problem and the test cases for next date problem is derived according to the boundary value analysis. So what is black box testing? Black box testing is defined as a testing technique in which functionality of the application is tested without knowing its internal part and the implementation detail as well as the knowledge of the internal parts of the software. This type of testing is based entirely on software requirements and specifications. It does not care how the programmer have written the code. It just wants the uh, expected output to be uh, found. So this is the uh, graph pictorial representation of how black box testing actually works. It takes the input from the user and it, wa it wanted the expected output to be produced. So this is black box testing. So boundary value analysis, this is one of the testing techniques which comes under black box testing. So boundary value analysis is a software testing technique in which tests are designed to include representatives of boundary values in the range. Values on the minimum and maximum edges of the equivalence class partition are tested in this boundary value analysis. So why do we need boundary value analysis because boundaries are common locations for error that results in software faults they are frequently exercised in test cases so this is the way how you represent the test case design for a boundary value analysis minimum and min minus one max minus one you will check for these condition it is the constraints of a particular input and max, max minus 1, max plus 1 and this is one of the valid input. Middle element is a valid input. Next state problem. The next state problem is a function of three variables that is day, month and year. Upon the input of a certain date, it, it should return the next date accordingly. So the input variables has some constraints that is day should be greater than 1 and less than 31. Month should be greater than or equal to 1 less than less than or equal to 12. And year should be greater than or equal to 1812 and less than or equal to 2012. So it should the next date problem should give the next date of a particular date. Test cases, how you design test cases for next date problem based on boundary value analysis. Boundary value analysis, the test number of test cases produced by boundary value analysis can be, it de depends on the number of inputs. Like the common formula is 4n plus 1 where n represents the number of inputs. In this next date problem we have three inputs that is month, date, in year so 4 into 3 plus 1 you have 12 uh, sorry 13 uh, inputs test cases the boundary value test cases can be generated by using these of the conditions so this is the equivalence class within which you check the boundaries that is for month you check between 1 less than 1 and greater than 12 for date less than 1 and greater than 31 for year it is 1812 less than 1812 and greater than 2012 so these are the test cases which we have generated here in this test cases 
we take sum of the input test string which should give us invalid this is just to check whether the in uh, the type of the input is integer then next we come to testing for invalid a with zero that is here for testing for an invalid input we should take one condition that is one of the input to be invalid the other should be the valid from the valid region so third month and 2000 year is it in, in the range of valid inputs so first we are checking for invalid date inputs so I'll, I'll show a, a diagram So this is the diagram for uh, like deriving the test cases that is uh, month for month invalid month we will take 0 that is less than 1 and 2 which is greater than 1 this is min minus 1 min plus 1 and here it is 11 which is max minus 1 and 13 which is max plus 1 so these are the four invalid dates months and here we have 0 that is plus min minus 1 for date and 2 min plus 1 and for 31 30 that is max minus 1 and 32 max plus 1 similarly we have for year that is 800 and 1811 is min minus 1 and 1813 is min plus 1 2011 is max minus 1 and 2013 is max plus 1 so here we have as uh, mentioned before see we have 0 that is invalid and 30 is valid next is 2 valid 32 invalid similarly for month 0 is invalid 11 and 2 is valid 13 is invalid similarly for year 1811 is invalid 2011 is valid 1813 is valid 2013 is invalid similarly the one more test cases is you should take all the valid inputs so this is about boundary value analysis for next date problem so in overall video we understood how to write the test cases for the boundary value analysis for the next date problem thank you if you like this video Please click on like button.